cover you all. I hope you all are fine. In the last class, we discussed about the input devices. Now, in today class, today's class, we will discuss about the output devices. As you all know, that a computer works on an IPO cycle. Takes an input, processes it, and then gives the output. And the devices which are used for displaying the output, for for showing the output, that is called output devices. Okay, so we'll start. Output devices. Again, two words are there. That is output. Second one is devices. So, from here we can understand the devices which are used to give the output. That is called output devices. And in your junior classes, also you have talked, you have learned about the output devices, just like monitor, speaker, printer, plotter. These are the output, common output devices, which we are using to show the output okay so here we can conclude that the devices that are used to show or or display you can say display the is called yes output devices so this is very much clear now in general for example monitor is the output device then printer then plotter then speaker fine okay so the first output that the output device that we will discuss that is printer the first output device that we are going to discuss that is printer again you can understand the device which is useful for printing it means this is a kind of output device which gives the output in a printed form okay this is the device this output device gives the output in printed form printed form and the output could be the output could be text pictures graphics fine so again we will have to try to understand this is the general description about the printer now we have to go in in depth analysis of different types of printer so in general printer can be classified into two groups the first one is impact printer the first one is impact printer and the second one is non impact non impact printer when we will say this from here only we will get the definition ki why it has been named as impact and non impact this is very simple if you try to understand you will get it very easily in fact whenever there uh, the printing that uh, we can say cartridge or uh, we can say the uh, print that the printing wheels 
printing if the printing wheels and the paper is in contact then this kind of printer this is the basic mechanism of impact printer it means in impact printer there is a physical contact between the printing wheels or the rotating wheels of the printer and the paper so that is why it is called impact if there is a physical connection between the paper and this printing wheel then it is called impact printer so in general it means physical contact physical contact between the paper plus the printing pins or wheel pins or we can say wheel so there is a physical contact between the paper where we want to take the output plus the printing pin or the wheel of the printer again if you will try to understand we will break the words non impact means there is no physical contact there is no physical contact between the paper and the printing wheel printing pins or wheel so if a printer is based on the mechanism of contacting between the paper and the printing wheel then this kind of printer is called point impact is called impact printer and if there is no contact between the paper and the printing wheel then this kind of printer is called non impact printer okay fine so we will go one by one and discuss each and every type of printer first comes to impact printer means there will be a physical contact between the paper and the printing pins or wheels of the printer okay so under the come from impact printer the first printer or the printer that we have to study that is dot matrix dot matrix printer okay i have a picture i'll stick it here on the board as you can see this is the picture of the dot matrix printer yes you can see it this printer is actually a impact printer here between the printing pins of the printer and the paper there will be physical contact with the physical contact pins will hit the paper and then in this way the characters or the text or the graphics are being printed means the paper will be in contact with the printing pins of this printer this will gives black and white print out only this doesn't give the color pr printing and this is not very expensive printer and the printing quality is also of average quality it does not give the supreme quality pictures or text print outs and this is not very expensive also and what about this what is why because this everyone can afford this that is why this printers are very much popular but otherwise if we'll say about the quality talk about the quality it gives an average quality print out and it is not very expensive it gives the printer it is it gives the text graphics print out but in a black and white form okay now we will start with the another type of printer that is non impact it means no impact will be there it means there will be no physical contact between the sheet or the paper and the printing pin pins or wheels of the printer so i'm just in the non impact printer category the very first printer that comes in play that is inkjet printer ink jet printer now again the name will give the all information about it ink jet printer it means a printer is there in which ink is being sprayed with the help of jet technology 
what does it mean? You must have seen uh, when you play only with the colors that there you that uh, the um, that instrument you use you just push it and a jet of that colors spray out. Exactly with that principle only it works. Here in this kind of printer. The ink is being spread by the jet technology and with that sprinkling, the papers get printed. I am just showing you the picture of the inkjet printer. So, it is just spraying the ink to the paper and in this way, the text and the graphics are being printed by this printer. It means there is no physical contact. There is no physical contact between the paper and printer. With the jet technology it works. With the jet it Sprays, sprays the ink on the ink on the paper and the paper gets printed. And when we talk about the picture quality, yes, definitely the picture quality is much better than the dot max printer. Picture quality, quality is much better than dot matrix. Not very expensive yes but yeah in comparison with the dot matrix inkjet is little bit expensive little bit expensive little bit expensive than dot matrix printer people printer so it is little bit more expensive than printer so when we talk about the inkjet printer what we have observed that this comes under the category of non-impact printer secondly non-impact means no physical contact between the paper and the printer it uses the jet jet kind of thing where from from this technology it sprays the ink on the paper and gets the paper printed and it, this inkjet printer is little bit more expensive than dot matrix printer and its paper quality or printing not paper quality its printing quality is better than the dot matrix and one very important thing that it gives color print also color print also dot matrix was giving only black and white it gives black and white as well as color print so that's all about the inkjet printer. We have discussed about the inkjet printer. Now under the non-impact printer category, we will discuss about the laser printer. So the second type of non-impact printer is laser. Laser printer. Then again, when we will see this name, again this two words are used, laser and printer. It means this printer is using laser beam for printing. So, this is again made up of two words that is laser and printer. It means this printer is using laser beam. From this name we can conclude that this printer is using laser beam for printing. That is why the picture quality is too good or we can say it is awesome. Very good. So this printer is actually, uh, we can conclude the point, the very first point is, this printer uses laser beams to print the paper. And it is quite obvious. 
obvious when it will use the laser beams for printing so the printing quality will be of the best quality so printing quality p is too good or we can say best uses the laser beam it means it will be little bit expensive here you can say it, it is the expensive printer that we have discussed whatever printers we have discussed among all those this printer particular laser printer is the expensive one this printer is expensive fourth this printer is being used in big organizations where so many means where in bulk we need the printouts in bulk we just for an example we can take our school in our school also laser printers are there because in bulk we need the printouts so when you need the printout in bulk quantity better to use laser printer why because this gives the best quality also and it doesn't need to refill again and again the cartridge for giving the printouts. Okay. It is having a capacity that it will give the printout at least when you refill it for the first time or when you refill it for the first time or when you will refill the ink at least 10,000 or 20,000 papers it can print in a single time. So in a big organization where there is a requirement of too much printout in bulk amount of printout is needed then we use this laser printer and its speed is also very much fast per minute it can give 10 to 20 printouts 10 to 20 pages per minute it can give 10 to 20 pages print out and if the print outs print outs are required in bulk amount bulk amount then this printer is the best choice because after giving too much printout also its picture quality or its printing quality does not deteriorate i think i will show you the picture of this so this is the picture of laser printer it uses laser beams for printing and its picture quality is too good. Means whenever it will give the uh, print out, you will see the quality is too good. And this printer is a little bit expensive also. And per minute it can give 10 to 20 pages print out. And if the printer, means print outs are required in bulk amount, then this printer is the best choice. Because after giving too much print out also, 10,000 or 20,000, it's Printing quality does not deteriorate. So that's about all about the laser printer. Now come to the summary of all this printer. Summary. So we have discussed about printer. And printer was of two types. That was non-impact. And this was impact printer non impact printer and impact printer <laughs> printer impact physical contact example is example is dot matrix and here the examples are inkjet Second one is laser. So this is the whole summary of the printer that we have 
discussed today plotter will be discussing in the next class so that's all for today fine